Dean Hood, Eastern Kentucky University. Thank you. Coach, could you just give us some general thoughts for the upcoming season? Yeah, they, uh, it's really exciting. Uh, you know, you got a lot of a lot of teams have a lot of guys coming back. You know, last year was uh, you know even though you know Jacksonville went through the through the OVC without a loss, I think it was still very competitive. You know, top to bottom, uh, as it always is. You know, in, in the OVC, you never know who's going to jump up there and be the be the hot team. And every single Saturday, you you know you got to put your best foot forward and and play and put the last game behind you. So. Uh, I mean, it's an exciting year. Uh, I think it's going to be, uh, you know, one of those things that comes down to, to the last week of the season, and you know, who's who's uh, you know who can win the thing, and who's got a chance to, to go to the playoffs and all that kind of stuff, just like it was last year. Yeah. What can we expect from the offense? Well, you know, offensively, we uh, uh, we got Deshaun Mobley coming back, which is a huge plus for us. Uh, you know, a, a factor in the conference race is going to be who stays healthy, you know, especially at the FCS level, you know, injuries can dramatically change your, change your season in a hurry. So, uh, you know, we got Deshaun coming back. If we can keep him healthy. Uh, you know, that, that's good, good for the Eastern Kentucky Colonels, uh, offensive line wise, we get everybody back, lost Dustin Crane, you know, one starter. So, you know, that's always uh, good news to a running back when he's got his entire offensive line coming back. And, and we've, we've got all of our receivers coming back as well. You know, quarterback, we were kind of, a a uh, two-man show last year with Jared McLean and Benny Coney, and Benny's coming back. And uh, you know we've got Kyle Romano back from two years ago, coming off a knee injury, and, and a young man we registered a year ago, Tyler Swafford. So you know, kind of a three-man race there at the at the quarterback position. Uh, but the the you know the stable part of our offense would be the fact that you know we've got the Player of the Year in the conference come back at running back and, and a veteran offensive line. And how about the defensive side of the ball? Defense side, you know, kind of a strange year for us. Uh, you know, very rare in, in college football you, you feel good about both sides of the ball in the trenches. And, you know, offensively we lost one lineman, and defensively we lost zero. You know, plus we had, had the addition of Noah Spencer transfer from Ohio State. So, you know, that's really the, the good part of, you know, the part you feel good about as a coach is, man, we're, we're deep and, and experienced in the O-line, in the D-line. So that's not to say we don't have kids that, you know, can play in the secondary. Got Stanley Absent on back at corner. Got Keontae Northington back at safety, you know, so feel good about those two guys. We lost three defensive backs, so we got some young guys that will need to step up. Uh, same thing at linebacker. We lost three linebackers, so we need some young guys to step up. But we got a veteran in, in Chris Kelly, and we've got some other kids that have, you know, had some playing, you know, time for us. But, you know, the, the part that helps you sleep at night a little bit is the fact that, you know, in the trenches offensively and defensively, you know, we've got all but one kid coming back. You talked about a little bit there, but what do you like most about your team this year? Uh, you know, really our leadership, you know, just just the, uh, the culture of our team. Uh, you know, when when you when you have stability, and I've been their head coach since 2008, so you're doing the the same things. Obviously, improved, but you're doing the same types of things over and over and over again. And each year, it gets a little bit better. So I think our seniors are standing on the shoulders of the seniors the year before, and they're standing on the they were standing on the shoulders of the seniors before them, and the seniors before them. So it's just neat to see that culture, you know, start to start to cultivate and. And uh, our guys are, uh, you know, just having a great summer with our seniors leading the practices and leading the workouts. And uh, that's been the, the neat thing to hear is when I'm in the office uh, here before we get started, actual, you know, start date for our coaches is just hearing the kids excited about uh, just the, uh, you know, just the effort part and how many guys are out there working out, getting ready for the season. Now, what's the biggest challenge for the season? Stay healthy. You know, <laughs> that's always that's always the one is, is stay healthy and just trying to find that balance between, uh, you know, practicing and, and getting better at blocking and tackling and, and all those things that, you know, are so important to the game, the fundamentals of the game. So balancing, making sure you're practicing tough physically uh, enough to get good at the fundamentals of the game, but balancing the fact that, you know, we, we've got to get these guys to Saturday and uh, you know, not be too violent within the practice sessions, and too much hitting, and making sure you're safe, and you know, staying off the ground, keeping your head up, and all that. That's a that's a that's a difficult balancing act to get your kids prepared for the season, uh, but also to you know to keep them healthy. Yeah, and finally, can you give us your thoughts on the OVC race and maybe what it will take to compete for the championship? 
Yeah, just what I said at the beginning, uh, my thoughts on the OVC race is going to be, uh, I think last year was an exception. You know, I, don't know, I don't know when the last time a team went through the OVC undefeated like Jacksonville did, uh, but I think that's rare. I think there's a lot of parity in college football, and the OVC is no exception. Uh, there, there are teams that are bringing a lot of veteran players back, a lot of teams bringing their quarterbacks back, so that's, you know, that always makes for a more competitive race. And then you can't ever look at the standings and say, you know, this team picked in the seventh spot, the eighth spot, or whatever, you know, has, has no potential to beat us because, you know, the, the reality is there's, there's not a team on our schedule we can't beat, and there's not a team on our schedule that can't beat us. So you've got to prepare every single week, and, and I think this year will be exactly the same, and I think uh, it'll be no different that the teams that stay healthy and the teams that get good play from their quarterbacks will be two factors that'll be huge. All right, well, Coach,